Lorinda by Alice Pung. Can you imagine what it's like to be the daughter of Vietnamese refugees in 1990s Australia? What it's like to be plucked from your comfort zone and chucked in the deep end? To face off the bullies and come out on top? And to reach rock bottom? Lucy Lamb can. Meet the Lambs. Lucy is an average kid. She has a mum, a dad and a baby brother. Growing up in one of the most socio-economically disadvantaged suburbs in Victoria, Lucy is the daughter of Tichau Chinese refugees Warwick and Quinn. Warwick works in the Victory Carpet Factory, but the family has a secret. Lucy's mum Quinn works out of their shed, sewing the trendiest catalogue items for the hottest department store brands. It's intricate work. It's illegal work. But the family needs to save to build for a more comfortable life. When Lucy was young, Warwick and Quinn led the Sino-Vietnamese conflict and came to Australia by crowded boat to find safety for their little family. Along the way their boat was besieged by pirates. One man lost his life that day, but the lambs managed to survive and settled down in Australia. Lucy goes to Christ Our Saviour School. It's a small school and the kids are a bit rough, but Lucy is happy there. She has friends and the teachers are nice. Lucy is one of the smartest kids in year 10, so her parents encourage her to sit the entrance exam to a more prestigious school. She writes the best essay and out of all the other 300 applicants, she wins the inaugural Equal Access Scholarship to Lorinda Ladies College. Lorinda is an elite school for the wealthy and privileged, and Lucy feels she doesn't fit in. Amber, Chelsea and Brody, the cabinet, are the meanest girls in school. They're also the favourites of the school principal, Mrs Gray, or the growler as the girls call her. From snarky comments to cruel pranks on teachers, the cabinet rules the school, and they get away with it. Lucy finds herself isolated from the other girls and spends more and more time alone writing letters to Lynn. But who is Lynn? And what does she mean to Lucy? The cabinet turns the other girls against Lucy and she is outcasted, picked on and alone. The growler pushes Lucy more than ever and her academic and social world start to collapse. Lucy's world comes crashing down late one night when her little brother Lammy is rushed to the hospital. Lucy struggles to deal with her brother's brush with death. The bullying becomes too much for Lucy and her emotional and mental health take a huge toll. Lucy stops attending school. Lorinda, by award-winning novelist Alice Pung, is an adolescent exploration into racial biases, schoolyard politics, growing up, and staying true to your identity in an elitist world. Will Lucy Lamb be able to overcome her fears and face up to her bullies? Only you have the power to find out.